Have a look with them in Tenerife. Webby's just been and he's got to go and do some jobs. So he's done actually on the video today. But he'll give you a wave if you're all right. Morning. See everybody. I'll talk later. Okay. Have a good walk. Thank you. Right, See you. I don't want to be you. So, if, <laughs> so if you're new to this, you come outside and everybody, everybody's waiting, waving for you. There you go. I always wanted a car like that. Or you can park it anywhere you like. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. So, where are we? I'm outside my house. This is my house, in case you didn't know. Complejo Residencial Cayo Beach. And I live on the top floor, up there, but not this flat. It's the one round the corner. The one round the corner. Sun's shining in my eyes, so I know that you're saying stuff, but I can't read it at the moment. Okay, so I'm gonna start again. Ladies, oops. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my morning walk. My name's Tim Dowd, if you're new to the channel. I go walking Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, around about this time. And I go live at 5.55, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And uh, you got guys going the wrong way over the one-way street. Totally illegal. But there you go. They don't care. Monday is Meet Up Monday. If you missed it last night, we had international guests. I'm tired today, I don't know why. Maybe because I stayed up till three o'clock this morning watching season five of Suits. There you go. <laughs> Let's do this. I set my life in my hands. There's Webby. Gotta do somebody a favour. Taking their car to the ITV. What's the ITV, you say? It's like the MOT here. There you go. Let's have a quick sit and see what you guys are saying. Ah, I know I've only just started the walk, but there you go. I'd like to show a little bit of where I live. So that's our block in the in the back there. And we got like this uh, little avenue with a nice walk in the middle of it, full of, full of trees. And uh, it takes us up to the top of the road, which is where the banana plantation is. Hence, the tarmac and cocktails, bananas and the beach bar. So let's see, 55 people on Seaco, Rosai Pfeiffer. Oh, hang on, I gotta get this one right. Hrithika Surya. Hrithika Surya, hi. Anne Marie, Edward Blagg. Good morning, Saint Hrithika. Am, am I pronouncing that correctly? Hrithika. Hrithika Surya. Glenn Young's on Co. Roger Channing, Betty Hannigan, Martin Voss, Chris Godfrey, Mark. Good morning, all. Hrithika's sending me lots of uh, YouTube y type stuff. If English isn't your first language, Hrithika, don't worry. Morning, Tim and everyone. Very morning, hope it's not too hot for you. It's actually cooled off a bit now. It's uh, not as muggy as it was, but we shall see. Gary, the bus driver's on, Dazar and Nettie. Good morning, have a good day, looks beautiful. It's been cloudy the last couple of days, but it's really nice today. I got me 50 factor on and uh, I didn't finish with the introduction. If you are new to the channel, Wednesday's balcony banter, but we're not doing it this week for the simple reason is Chris has not recorded a memoir. And so what we might do is just sit on the balcony and have a chat. Or, depending on what happens tomorrow, I might go out. So there will be something at 5.55 on Wednesday, but I don't know what it's going to be. Now, I'd forgotten they've closed this off. So I'm gonna have to take my life in my hands. Why is that actually? 
it was a water thing, a water main, and they dug it up and then filled it in and dug it up again. And it's been like this for ages now. Hmm. We shall see what we shall see. So normally, I swear when people do this, but uh, I'm going to take my life in my hands. It's only one way, and it's a quiet one. Now, the reason I'm saying tarmac and bananas is because it looks like they're putting the tarmac down today up here because the machine's arrived. So I'm going to go up and see it, if I can get some information on when it's going to be open because they're usually pretty quick after it's open with the painting and everything. I mean, the quality, I don't know what the quality's like because sometimes just after tarmac in, we get potholes and stuff. But uh, could be interesting. Hola, amigo. Buenos días. ¿Está listo hoy? No sé, creo que no. No, creo que no. Hoy no creo que acabe. Es bastante lo que hay que echar. ¿Sí? ¿Una, ¿Una semana o menos? No, quizás en una semana está listo todo ya. ¿Sí? Sí. Muchas gracias, señor. He doesn't know, but he thinks maybe within the week it's going to be done. It won't be finished today, he says. We got all the hot tarmac in these machines. So this is the banana plantation in between Playa Paraíso and Cayo Sabaji. So don't forget, they've not only got the uh, the road to do, but they've also got all the pavings to do and everything. So it is a long job. It doesn't look like I'm going to get up there, but that's okay. Let's turn you around. It doesn't look like I'm going to get up there, but I can imagine that they're going to do half the one side all the way and then they'll probably do the other side coming back whilst they're doing the path on that side I don't know but it's interesting Buenos dias Hasta cuando esta um, listo? Si? Sí? Cinco dias, más o menos about five days, he says. There you go. So it's Tuesday today. So if we took, if we call them work days, it's probably be Monday or Tuesday next week. I'm going to see if we can find out when it's going to open and if there's going to be an opening ceremony or something. Because what I might do is organise an opening ceremony if there isn't one. Just get a couple of mates to come over and uh, and celebrate the fact that it's open. I don't know. What do you think? Right. Time for the walk. Okay, it's, it's going to be no use filming that because uh, it's pretty boring. We've got 71 people on. Uh, this will be a boon to the village as well because we can walk over then in without danger. Um, we can walk over then without danger because it was a bit, a bit dangerous, especially with Chris on the, on the little trolley, you know, the, the shopper. Because if she went over on the shopper, there, is no, there was no pavement. It was a one-way street, only room for one car. So they were speeding to, to get by in case they had to stop and reverse back. So this is going to be really a game changer. In fact, theoretically, I wouldn't need a car in the village anymore because I only use the car really for shopping and getting to places like Los Cristianos and Las Americas. So uh, theoretically, I could do all my shopping on foot and Christina could come with me, which would get her out of the house more often. 
because it's lifting her up and putting her in a car and getting her out of the car, then go shopping, then putting her back in the car and out of the car. That's, that's ruining me back, to tell you the truth. So she understands that. So we go out in the car very rarely now. And she said if I get a new car, I don't have to get one where the wheelchair fits in even. She says she's, she's going to do that. So we shall see what we shall see. Let's just see what you guys are saying. We've got 75 people watching. If you just joined us, I am in uh, Kaya Savaki at the top of our road looking at the new, well, the refurbished cut through towards Playa Paraiso. Uh, David Kelsey, how would you describe living and lifestyle there? Um, let me think about that one. Let me think about that one. Johnny Goggles is on, Heather's on, Dave Butler. Uh, Jeremy Max, good morning. Out in 12 days from Wet Teohe. Roger Channing, Michael Noel Turner, good morning. Glenn Thompson is on. Evie Blue, Gillespie's Travels, hello, young sir. Evie Blue, Eddie Reed, Nettie, we did that one. Right, okay, so what is the described living and lifestyle there? Right, it's a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. We've lived, or I've lived, in quite a few countries, and I've always tried to embrace the locality. So it's like living anywhere. You fit in uh, with the people, learn the language, and... Uh, I tend not to do comparisons with other countries I've lived in for the simple reason is you're either disappointed in something and yeah, looking back's not a good thing I don't think but if uh, it's a hard question it's, it's a hard question to answer truthfully because everybody's in in their own situation if you like so talking about it from a personal personal view we came over here because we didn't want to shovel snow anymore in Bavaria you know now Bavaria had a great uh, I spent most of my life in Bavaria in fact I was longer in Bavaria than I was in Britain America or anywhere Asia so I'm comparing here to another European country and basically it's the same because with free movement you can move anywhere and there's no really big hurdles you need to jump over. Now of course after Brexit Brits have got lots of hurdles to jump over and that colours the view of, of when you come over. Uh, if you're looking at it from a from a British point of view, I would say it's a lot slower here. People don't really think too much about what others are thinking. A lot of your day is outside. So if you're buying or renting a house, uh, you tend to think, so Brits and Americans would tend to think about living room, dining room, and uh, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. I suppose that's important, but it's not as important because all you've got to do is clean it. And the dust here sometimes gets on your wick. So if you were coming over and living here, the first thing you need to do is get out of holiday mode. You know, going for your English breakfast every morning lying on the beach all day and uh, going out at night gets old very quickly so you have to have a a social life but uh, if all your social life is to do with either expat bars like the Monte Cristo or um, or going out to eat at different places then you're still on holiday you're not living here so uh, to actually live here, get involved in the people and the politics, uh, learn the language, of course, and uh, 
I'm probably answering this too deep. You probably want to know how cheap it is or, yeah, let's, let's answer it like that then. <laughs> Things are a lot cheaper here than in other countries, mainly because we got 7% VAT or most of, most of the goods are 7%. There is, there is higher rates for Alcon tobacco, but that's another story. Um, most of the things are 7%. And so you'll see a lot of cheaper stuff. But if you're earning here, the wages don't, don't cover the difference. So for non, what's the word, non-professionals, if you like, you know, people with, without qualifications that are doing a professional job. That sounds bad, but you know what I mean, I think. Uh, it's very hard to get decent wages. And it's also very hard to find a place to live if you're earning those wages. So if you're a local earner and a local spender, things are probably a little bit more expensive than in Britain. The advantages, of course, is that the sun is out every day. And uh, so that means you don't have to worry about a lot of other stuff like uh, winter clothes and summer clothes, for instance, or the barbecue is going to be called off. <laughs> I'm going to go over the road here, take my life in my hands. But moving to another country is a big decision. What a lot of people do is they leave one foot in the old country and then they start calling the old country home. Then they're coming out with stuff like saying, this isn't the same as at home. And if you do that, you're on a hide into nothing. That means you've not made the move. You're basically just temporarily here. And I think you can never be happy because there's always going to be something that's better at home, you know? So what I would do is think very carefully what you want to do with your life and uh, if you want to make a move, if it's, the, if it's like your first move out of the country and you're my age at 60, it's probably going to be your last one as well. So you have some plan for ending your life here as well, which is something you don't want to talk about. Really? You don't want to think about? But you've got to think about things like that. Medical? is, I would say, very similar to Britain, from what I remember. I mean, don't forget, I left Britain in 89. And I've been in one of the best uh, medical countries, you know, countries for medical in the world since then, uh, 40 years maybe. Uh, so I think it's, it's probably the same. The waiting lists are, are probably shorter for a GP, but longer for a specialist. Obviously, there is emergencies, but uh, yeah. I don't know whether you're eligible to take the National Health Service here as a Brit until you retire, where you get an S1. But uh, I know that if you come over to live and you're not retired and you have to work, then your contract includes uh, access to the health. So if you're working and paying Social Security, you get immediate access to health. Uh, if you're not working and you're coming over on savings and you're not paying into the system, you get nothing out of it. And they won't allow you in unless you have private medical health, which covers ex pre-existing conditions, which is one of the biggest uh, hurdles to get over, really. Okay. Have I talked enough about that? That was the boring bit, coming down this road. Let me show you where we are. If you're new to the channel, my name's Tim. I go live around about this time, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Go for a walk somewhere, have a chat with you guys. Monday's Meet Up Monday, 5.55, live. If you want to go and watch that and catch up yesterday, that's good. And uh, Wednesday's Balcony Banter, apart from the first Wednesday of the month where we go over to Giuliani's channel and do food for thought. And Friday's Freaky Friday, where at the moment I'm in uh, the local 
Brit Bar. The Monte Cristo with Webby having a bit of fun. But uh, I'm thinking about doing something different as well on Freaky Friday. For those of you coming over and want to come to Freaky Friday, it'll still be fun and it might even still be with Webby. But we might pick other bars on a Friday night and see, and then I'll drive because I won't want to drink. All right. This is beautiful. So this is the path over to Playa Paraiso. The only thing I don't like about this path is the dog owners think they don't have to pick up the crap. And so they abuse it. Uh, Playa Paraiso is 500 meters away. La Gomera is in mist. It's those wispy white clouds. That's the top of La Gomera. And to the right of that, you can see uh, La Palma on a good day. Not today, of course. So here's the hotels. Harry Shaw. Good morning, Tim, fellow subscribers. First live cut for a while. I had to get a beer this morning as a rounding hut. Uncomfortable night. Oh, no. I hope she's feeling okay. Give her a, uh, a virtual hug from us. Please do. Please, please do. Okay, so this is Cayo Savaki at a glance. From the banana plantation, you have Arco Iris and Mirador de la Gomera. Behind that, you got our complex. The white building you can see right in the middle there is um, the three-star hotel we have on in the village called Blue Sea Cayao Garden. Looking left from that, we've got like the tan roof, which is the tropical park complex and hotel. And behind that, the white building, hi, is um, the new Mind Hotel, M-Y-N-D. I've heard good, good uh, stories about that as well. The next big block here that looks like that, uh, the building out of Stingray, 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 do -do 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 is uh, Agua Viva and the white flats in front of it is the second part of Agua Viva and uh, there's a couple of Airbnbs in there as well to the left of that is the Floa white building which is El Ancla the anchor again flats residential flats but some people renting out and behind that in this gap here on the left is C.C. Esmeralda, and that's where the Indian restaurant is, Laura's Coffee Bar, and uh, Monte Cristo, of course, and the Three Horseshoes, the other karaoke bar on the same block. To the left, you've got the Sand Coloured Hotel, um, the Atlantic Holiday Company. And here we are down at the beach bar. I'm going to get a bit of a move on. I've been on 23 minutes. Well, it looks like the beach bar's open. I heard people have had a coffee there. I'm not sure whether the upstairs is open just yet, but downstairs is. Uh, I've looked at the prices, or been told the prices, and they are not expensive for holiday makers, but it's, uh, it's a third to 50% more than other places in town. But then again, you get a great view. You get great facilities, especially when they redo the uh, sunbeds and start doing the uh, beach service. Here's a black beach, a little bit stony, but it gets deep very quickly. Some people were saying it's a little bit cloudy in the, uh, in the waters. Oh, just to finish off, this, uh, this is the Las Banderas. This is another place you can rent places. And right on the corner there is a, a beautiful restaurant, which is open again today. That's called the Delfin, the Delfin restaurant. Canarian seafood steak, really worth it. Not very wheelchair friendly, unfortunately because it's like four or five flights of stairs going down, but you are right at the water's edge. David Impizan, rigor mortis. Oh, what Anna and Lynn said, what did Anna say? Very kind, yes, exactly, very kind. Thank you so much. 
Lynn Rollins is on. Hey, Lynn, uh, I published to Instagram, but I don't read a lot. And I noticed that you've been sending me messages on Instagram. I've sort of liked them. Uh, thank you so much. But uh, if you want to get in touch, uh, you're better off either emailing me, me at timothydowd.com, or uh, if you need an immediate answer for something, emergency, if you like, WhatsApp, as I'm on. Get all the details at timothydowd.com slash about. But uh, I, if you're on Instagram or Twitter and I'm not answering you, it's not because I don't love you. It's because I don't do those social medias too much. I just, I just push stuff out to that. Facebook as well, really. I've got a private Facebook page, which I don't, I don't re uh, accept friend requests on that. But if you want to follow on Facebook, I, I do have a Living With MS in Tenerife Facebook page called at LWMST. Uh, again, if you message me on that, you get an automated message saying, email me. <laughs> well, there you go. So we're coming down now. This is the beginning of the path or the end, depending on which way you want to go. I'm waiting for them to pave this because then Christina and I could go through the banana plantation and come back through here. That would be a great walk for her. But uh, we shall see what we shall see. So they did start it. Unfortunately, they did this crazy paving thing again, which they did in Playa de San Juan. And it is really not very well for, for uh, what's it called? Uh, for wheelchair users. It looks nice, but uh, it's, it's a jiggly. It's a bit jiggly. Okie dokie. 116 people watching, 53 thumbs up. Thank you so much. So they're finishing the roof off that. This is the water station down the bottom here. Purification and something or other. Ah, oh, they got the, uh, the brollies up. And it can't be long then. Let's walk down. Born in Paz. Something about Paz and Tez and all people with Zeds in the name. Tenerife Tez is meeting me on Thursday. We don't know where yet. He says, where should we meet? And I says, you choose. And he said, you choose. But Tenerife Tez, I ain't choosing. So you gotta tell me where you meet where to meet you or I won't be there. Let's see if you're watching, eh? If you watch these, I'll meet you anywhere. But you've got to contact me next. And if you don't watch these, <laughs> you missed out. Get some sun. Yep, foot showers. So look at this view. Beautiful view. Rigger, gonna see you on Friday. And the beach bar is open. I'd like to think that this was my idea. Because I said the worst thing about this beach bar was that your soup fell off the plate. Cool dude. So if you want to see the menu, it's right here. Let's have a quick look. Hola. Puedo grabar? ¿Cómo? Puedo grabar. Grabalo. Sí, gracias. So here we are. This is the inside. Looks beautiful. Very nice. Very nice pictures. Look at that. Got the kitchen in the back and a dumb waiter that takes stuff upstairs. Here's the bar. And there's the turnstile for the toilets. 
There is a disabled toilet where you don't need to go through the turnstile. And it's free for customers. And it's one euro if you don't buy anything. So it's probably worth it to buy something. Cool dude. Permiso, señor. Gracias. Muchas gracias. So this is a sort of the, the VIP lounge, I suppose. How many tables have they got in there? I thought they were going to put two tables in, but they've got quite a few now. Two, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and twelve. Enough for twelve people. Now, I know we had problems with flies at one point down here, but at the moment, nothing's happening, which is cool. So before we go upstairs, I'm going to take you to Christina's favourite spot and see what you guys are saying. We lost two people, but we gained thumbs up. Is it worth it? <laughs> Looks like they tidied up here as well. Taking all the stuff. Simon's on. Simon Farant, go and give him some love. So this is my favorite spot with the tree in the foreground. Turbo fans high from the Netherlands. Brexit is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, had to wait an hour for my passport to get stamped. Didn't happen in 2020, why is that? Uh, I don't know, I've never had a passport stamped here, so I don't have any experience of that, but Brexit didn't change anything. It's just that uh, Brexit changed the lane that you can use. So it's not actually Brexit that's the problem. It's, uh, it's the passport is now has a lot more people to deal with because of Brexit. So it's the amount of people coming from non-European countries that, uh, that do that. Hola. So it's uh, basically there is no passport control for, for Schengen countries, so you just walk straight straight in. But for Schengen countries, for non-Schengen countries, you've got to join the queue, and that queue has, has increased because of the amount of Brits that come here. I think 60% of the old tourists are Brits, the last time I looked. But, this year and next year, they're going to include the ETIAS system, which is the visa waiver online. And that should um, check your passport online. And as long as your ticket has got the correct code, you should be able to enter the country without having too much problems because you're pre-checked. Uh, it's going to cost seven euros and valid for three years. Etias, if you want to learn about that, I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so this is the top bar. They got fixed sunshades there. And here are the big, they are freestanding. I don't know how good that is. I really don't know how good that is. But maybe they attach to these poles. So maybe, it's all sort of connected. So he screams out the back. And you've got to get the sun all day here. Only 
Webby. <laughs> the daddy. Mm. What temperature there, Tim? It was horrendous in Lanzarote, 42 degrees. It depends if you're talking about the sunshine. Uh, in the sun, we're way over 30. In the shade, I would put it between 25 and 28. Unless you talk to Dan the man, and it's 28 degrees all day every day. <laughs> now this place isn't open upstairs, downstairs is open. But I believe the coffee's 350 for a milk coffee. Whereas if in Laura's, I think it's two bucks or 220 or something like that. Who's the daddy? There you go, that's the question. Who's your daddy? So yeah, I'll, uh, I'll reserve judgment here until it's fully open and the beach hammocks are on there and the buttons are working and you've got lots of people milling around. So uh, I don't want to I don't want to go in and sort of give my tuppence with uh, was it two penneth? I don't want to give my two penneth without giving them a chance. I mean, it's the same people that had it last time that were evicted, but they won the court case apparently. So uh, as long as they don't start doing stuff that they were evicted for allegedly, allegedly doing stuff that they were allegedly, oh, they were actually evicted. I don't know which one is allegedly, okay. Anyway, as long as they behave themselves, it should be all right. And as I say, if, uh, if people pay the price and come, then that's okay, because that's the market forces. That's what you all vote for, for market forces. And if you're, uh, if people don't come, then obviously they'll do something to either drop the prices or change the menu or reduce the quality or whatever you do when you're uh, trying to get people in bums on seats. Right, so I've got to see whether I can get up those steps or whether I'm going to go around by Little Germany. You know exactly what I'm going to do anyway, don't you? You really do, don't you? <laughs> so I'll give you another view of the top and the beach. <clears throat> No dogs allowed. But obviously that dog cannot read. Uh, if you're a responsible dog owner, I have nothing against you. But I don't know many. Hands going up the steps. Hope nothing's happened to her dog. Out and about with Ash, morning, fantastic view, great honest insight into moving to the island. Thank you. Sometimes I think people are, are behind on the on the channel. I think they started watching late and they're commenting now on things I said ages ago. I hope you do. When I see us. Yes. Uh, running downhill's easy. <laughs> there we go. Ah, out and about with Ash. There you go. Thanks, Anne. Go and give him some love as well. He does cheeky, cheap getaways. Weekends away. Hello. 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 
I'm knackered just watching people run, I tell you. <laughs> it's getting warm now. Don't forget your 50 factor. 136 people watching now. 74 thumbs up. So this is El Ancla that we saw from the other way. You like the beach? First time here? Cool dudes. Second time, cool. You can walk all the way over to Playa Paradiso, and there's a beautiful maritime walkway there, paved like this. Very nice. Well worth the visit. You can walk all the way around. The first 500 yards is a little bit stony, but okay. And at the end, there's a barranco with a new bridge. Well, I'm saying new, four years old. I'm sorry? Yep, yep, yep. It's only 500 yards to the barranco, past the banana plantation. And then uh, there's a little bridge, and you get over, you're at the white hotel there, the Rio, Buena Vista. And then you just carry all the way around the front. It's beautiful. Hard Rock Hotel. The Blue Towers, the two. You can even uh, get a day ticket there and go and use their facilities. I think it's 40 euros or 30 euros, but you can, you spend it all on booze and food. Yeah, that's worth it as well. I'm sorry? You know, I'm not sure. Um, there must be one with a slide, but I don't think it's a, I don't think it's like a kiddies adventure place, you know? It's more, it's more for rocky adults, I should imagine. Rocky, I don't know whether that's a word, but yeah. Why did you pick, if you, I do a vlog on uh, Kaya Savaki. Uh, do you mind if I ask you why you chose it? And can I film it? Okay. Okay. Uh huh. And you thought that's not really conducive to a family holiday. I'll try further up the coast. Cool, dude. Okay. I live up there, yeah, in the that complex there. I do a live show. You're actually live now, but you're not on it. Uh, I got 128 people watching. Yeah. I go live Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, nine o'clock, and I go Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5:55 and do a bit about the village and about the south coast and stuff. It's quite fun. If you want to check me out, it's Timothy Dowd. D-O-W-D. We need a couple of, uh, a couple of subscribers. Enjoy yourselves. There you go. Got to keep moving. My phone's overeating. Overeating or overheating? El Ancla. Hundred and thirty people watching now. Hundred and thirty two. And Smiler. Enjoy yourselves. Up to speed now, Tim. There you go. Hi Tim again, coffee break. Happy hour two for one. We're actually I'm gonna might visit I might see if Webby's on. Webby, are you in the village now, or are you still up doing what you're doing? If you're in, I'll get a coffee in Laura's. So this is La Divina Comida. This was two bars, they knocked into one. Got the Irish bar, does breakfast. And the German bar, closed Monday, Tuesday for the summer. Ah, summer's low season here. So they do Monday, Tuesday closed. They're open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday early. So five till 12 and four till 12. And if you want to reserve a table, call Kirsten on that number. <sighs> it's 
Some more people taking inflatables to the beach. To the beach. So up here is the uh, body gun canario. Oh, BBJ is 40 meters, there you go. We'll check that out. So this is the second row of shops. We've got the Sangrila. Let me show you the view from here. Nice Mediterranean international restaurant. Nice view. Come and see Bella and Sandra. And we got the, I think it's a French or Belgian bar. Mussels. Tis the season to be mussled. And then you got Casa Maria, Spanish, and Pizza Bar and Steak 21. That's a top class restaurant. What's the weather like, normal temperature? Or is the heat wave? We're just coming out of a heat wave. Uh, what they call a Kalima, where there's a lot of dust from the Sahara, keeps the heat in and brings the hot weather from the Sahara. But the winds change and clears the skies. So you can see there's not much dust in the sky now. So we're around about normal for this time of year, which is the upper 20s in the shade and lower 30s in the sun. Surpresa, surpresa. Nobody wants to sell that. So this is the three horseshoes in the corner there, karaoke and sport bar. And we've got the club, smokers club. And of course, the Monte Cristo. They're not open just yet, but I think they're open at one. Dave's just doing the cleaning. Hundred and forty two people watching, cool dude. So just to finish off the hotels. This is Pearly Grey on the left. Started out as a timeshare, but you can actually use it as a hotel as well. Pearly Grey or Pearla Gris. And the one next to it being done up is the Albatross. And that's gonna be really nice when it's done. They're putting a pool in here. And uh they got two rows of Block, two blocks, and each block's got loads of apartments in upstairs. And shops underneath. There you go. Let's see who's in Laura's. This is the Chaos of Aki Prison, also known as the Masala Indian Restaurant. <laughs> Hola. I think years ago this used to be Beckham's and then She Mimi, and now it's Masala. Buenos dias, Brendan. Barra Cervecería Laura. So there's nobody here. I'll be down in five. Where do you want to sit, Webby? I will sit here. Hola, buenas. Bien. Un café con leche para mí, por favor. Okay. Where will we be down in five minutes, he says. We're in on 49 minutes. Ah, get relaxed. Oh, that's a nice light. The sun's bouncing off the white wall there. 
Makes it look interesting. Very cinematic. Cinematico. Right. Charlie's on. Hi, Charlie. Shame you couldn't make it. Well, there you go. Shelly Higgins, Windia. Hey. When are you coming over? End of the month, is it? Shelly, uh, I follow Shelly on Twitter. One of the few people I follow on Twitter, because she follows me. And uh, I, I don't do a lot on Twitter these days, do I? It's amazing, really. But uh, thanks for Shelly. Claim to fame is she's got a great Twitter profile picture. <laughs> and uh, she's the niece of Ulrika Niggins, the snooker player. Uh, get up, Tim. You big saucy. You're looking well mush. Thank you very much, Adrian. Or is it Adrian? I don't know. Webby will be down in five. There you go. Count it down. Do you want Pedro Sanchez to win or Alberto Viejo? To tell you the truth, the mainland politics... Oh, we got one of those annoying uh, paragliders above us with a motor. Um, the mainland politics are a bit weird. Um, if you look, basically what's happening is none of the big con countries, uh, none of the big countries, none of the big parties are going to get an overall majority. So that means that Sanchez is going to have to get into bed with the far left, OK? Which is OK by me. I mean, I am, I am a lefty, so it's OK by me. Uh, but if the other guy gets in, then he's got to get in bed with the far right. And as a foreigner, I don't really want that. I don't really want that, you know? I mean, you, you see what's happening in Britain now, that you've had, you've had far right um, incursions into politics because the standard parties can't hack it on their own. And that's what you get. So you get uh, a lot less, what's the word, empathy when you've got a far right country. You, things happen and things change and people like change or not, as the case may be. So uh, they say democracy is the best of the worst systems. But uh, no, I'm not too sure. Muchas gracias. gracias mm. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I voted in the local elections. I can only vote in the local elections. I can't vote in the... Uh, national elections because I'm not a citizen. So even though I live here, they, uh, they don't let you vote in the national elections, but they do let you vote for your local councillors, which is good because, you know, that's, that's where the, that's the front, the, the bleeding edge of politics is here. And the guy who's the mayor here and runs the local party is PSOE, is PSOE. so he's like Labour. And uh, he's been in for years, so even if he did vote for somebody else, Basically, it's a very, very safe seat in Adehe. Uh, Fraga is PSOE. And I'm quite happy with the way they're, they're running things, the way they're doing stuff. Um, like any left-wing government, unfortunately, there's no sort of... Um, there's no boss, if you like. So everything's like committee. I think that's why people don't like left-wing politics, is because everybody's got to have a say, and everybody's valid, and everybody's recognised. So not a lot gets done. Um, unfortunately, but as I say, you know, democracy, what we really need, and I would vote for this, but that would be the end of it because they'll take away your vote after this, is a benevolent dictator. Now, I know that all the people that live in dictatorships are going to go, what did he just say? I thought he was a lefty. But what I'm thinking is, is that you need somebody strong enough to be a leader. You need somebody who has a vision and you need somebody who has the guts to take it there without asking everybody's permission. Uh, no, I don't want to say asking it, but you, you know, you get bogged down in, well, what about these rights and these rights and these rights and these rights and my right to not like your rights and all that stuff. You get bogged down in all that stuff. So what we really need is conservative politics, but with a heart. I think that would win in any country. Conservative politics, you know, people who work hard get, get rewarded, people who don't work hard do not get rewarded and get encouraged to do something, but with a heart. I think that's the only thing that's missing, really. So, and I'll be killed for this, but I reckon Jeremy Corbyn was the only only 
person I know with a heart, you know? But there you go. They killed him. Politically. I don't know. Have I lost anybody? Don't worry. Didn't know Shelley was a viewer. I met her once in Jimmy White exhibition in Nottingham, saw them both in the nightclub after. She can drink. <laughs> and stunning girl. Great stories of her uncle too. She's going to come on, I hope, uh, on a Freaky Friday maybe. Or we'll go for a walk, one of the two. And uh, I'd love to hear those stories. And also, with Webby having the sports uh, roundup now, that would be a great, uh, a great interview for him as well. So you might, you might see. She's coming over soon. Hope I'm not letting the cat out of the bag. I don't, I don't think I am because she mentioned it on a live the other day. So there you go. Did I eat the biscuit? I meant to take it home for Chris. Why don't you stop me? Oh no! I'm gonna get another one. <laughs> I'm doing what I accuse other people of doing now. I'm looking at myself instead of looking at the camera. Thank you. Was that brilliant, did he say? <laughs> Guy just walked past said I was brilliant. I heard you. Are you on YouTube? I am, yeah. Wonderful. We're live now. Do you want to come and say hello? I'll come and say hello. Sod it. 139 people watching. Wonderful. Come and say hello. Okay. I wonder if any of them know me. Well, take your glasses off, we don't know. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing? What's your name, where are you from? My name's Ross. Um, I live in Tenerife now, but uh -huh. um, I'm from Middlesbrough originally. Okay. If anyone's a Middlesbrough fan, good morning to you. Oh, you're a football fan? Absolutely. Do you know Webby? Webby, no? No, I don't know. He's a, he'll be here in a minute. He's, okay. He's just got a brand new Tenerife-based sports podcast okay. called Webby Sports Roundup. All right. Right? And if you go and give him a sub, and if you're a great fan... We'll interview you in the next few weeks if you want. Ah, wonderful. Are you living in the village? Uh, I live in La Tejita, okay. uh, near El Medino. So yeah, no. uh, we're actually on a little staycation for a few days. Very nice. In the Mind, which is a wonderful hotel. It is a good, yeah. It's amazing, yeah, good concept. And uh, yeah, just out for a walk, walking off our breakfast, yeah. uh, as we do. Do you want to come and say hello? Are we soft? Don't be shy. Come on, I, name, need, I, need, I, need, I need a bit of good-looking people on the <laughs> channel. <laughs> and what's your channel called? It's called, well, it used to be called Living With MS in Tenerife. The okay. wife's got MS, and we just did it for a... A bit of sort of, what was the word? Cathartic exercise, right? Okay. But then I got nearly 8,000 followers, mm -hmm. and it was mostly me, because the wife doesn't like being on it, you know, obviously. <laughs> and so uh, I've changed the name now to, to at Timothy Dowd, D-O-W-D. Okay. D -O -W -D. okay. So you'll be on it. You're live right now. So Hello there. it'll be on catch-ups immediately after I've finished. Excellent. In fact, if you walk up the road, you can actually watch yourself live. Ah, well, Because we're 30 seconds behind. <laughs> What's your name, sorry? Uh, Ross, mate. Ross. Pleasure to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, too. Thank you. Enjoy your coffee. Uh, Kate, stay it's in lovely. touch. And don't forget Webby Sports Roundup. And Sports we'll interview you as, as, a, as a super fan on Tenerife. Fantastic. Okay. Bye, everyone. See ya. <laughs> cool dude. There you go. So, let's see what you guys are saying. I've been on holiday before and after the Iron Curtain came down in Bulgaria, the old folk hate the new Bulgaria, but the young ones love it. I like the old system. It's like Spain now. Okay. Okay. Uh, over in September for 18 nights. See you about, says Gary Higginson. Yes, sir. Big up, Tim. Bring back Arthur Scargill. You know, I never liked that guy. I think that at the time, um, it was... My politics are not really, you can't really buttonhole them. I'm thinking fairness, that's what I'm thinking. And anybody who makes a name and money for themselves by doing something for somebody else, you always end up uh, corrupt. You always end up corrupt. So power corrupts, absolute power corrupts, absolutely. So you've got to get to a stage where you've just got to make sure that being fair and looking after everybody is the goal, you know? I mean, Crow, do a political on live, okay. I might go there tomorrow. Yeah, so basically politics to me is, isn't a game. It's, it's real lives. But a lot of people sort of uh, vote for things that uh, are detrimental to themselves because they don't want to be seen to be voting for the thing that gives somebody else a benefit. So it's a lot, there's a lot of... Um, selfishness in people and especially when it comes to the papers saying like benefits fraud and benefits cheat and benefits this and benefits that you think it's the whole thing but it isn't in fact if you look at the figures um, more people were actually uh, more money 
was actually stolen by corporations than by benefit cheats, you know? So... You want to come and say hello on YouTube? We're live on YouTube, come on. Yes. What's your name, darling? Where are you from? I'm Patsy, we're from Stamford in Lincolnshire. In Lincolnshire? Yeah, Bosch, the Bosch girls, girls, well, we're all from Stamford, aren't we? You're all from Stamford. Hi, everybody. There's 141 people watching. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and uh, are you staying in for a holiday, are you? We're staying for a holiday, yeah. In we the mind or night. up the top? We're in um, Clare, Tropicana. The Tropical Park. Tropical yeah. Park. Very nice. It is gorgeous. It is good, isn't it? It is really, really good. Uh -huh. I used to live here like eight years ago. Oh, you did? And so my granddaughters want to see where. No my way. Son want, want granddaughters? Yeah. No yeah, remember way. That tenor, remember that teller I lent you? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's 15 quid now. It's gone up in interest. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. So, so what's your name again, sorry? Patsy. Patsy, there you go. Yeah. And um, how long are you over for? 10 days. And you just arrived last night? Yeah. Cool, dude. Thank goodness, because that's. So like. do, you, do you like playing bingo? <laughs> no. Sticky 13. Uh, Cheap gin and tonics. So I yeah, I like them. Me. But I'm not keen on bingo. Yeah. Where's this place? Where's Monte Cristo. Where, where they have live music at night. Uh, that's right up here. So oh, no, there, no, there's a lot of places. Oh, is there? Uh, there's a lot of places, like yeah. one. There's only one. <laughs> and, it's, oh, and it's closed at the moment, is it? No. no oh. my, my son is the bar manager, and the only place is the Pearly Grey Pearly in the corner. Gray, yeah. Pearly Grey in the corner. Over there. Yeah. yeah, yes, uh, but it, it, grey. yeah, the pretty grey, which obviously means grey, which is which means right, grey. Okay. So the hotel and the could just come down there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Every night there's an entity, entity. Oh, It's okay. the only place. But okay. the the quo restaurant's being refurbished still, is it? So you got to get down to the edge. Oh, don't you? It is and absolutely. So, but but I would I would go and uh, book a table. You got to book oh, okay. it. It's that busy. Oh, yeah. really? They have the singers on every night, and you got to go book yeah, it. And see, one of that's it. the only thing. With, I, I love where we are, but they, they stop like everything really about nine o'clock, and they uh -huh. just do like a kids disco at half six. Okay. So. I'll be I'll be there for the kids disco. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you've got the little one. There's my son, daughter-in-law, and then. Oh, you, there's, there's more of you. Yeah. Like, there's, yeah, and then there's right. the little one who's two. Okay. So. But that's the only place there's entertainment. Right, that's, as long as we've got somewhere to But go. there's uh, karaoke in the Three Horseshoes. If, oh. There's a, there's a, if you, there's a, an Indian restaurant right here called I Masala. I smelled that last night. Yeah. If you walk up the steps by the side of the Indian restaurant, the yeah. first bar you come to is the Monte Cristo, that's our local. Okay. Yeah, and they do, what day is today? Tuesday. Nothing on today, isn't it? But uh, Friday, I do, I do a show from there on Friday. Freaky oh, Friday. Friday. But they do, in the afternoon, it's on, yeah? They do bingo. And um, Sticky 13, and last week Sticky 13 was 200 odd quid. Oh, wow. Yeah, What's so. Sticky 13? It's you just get 13 man. cards, and he shouts out, he, 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 the guy who's running it gives you 13 cards. Right. And they're all different, and then he's got 52 in his hand, and he shuffles them, cuts them, and then he just takes them one off the top. And if you've oh, got the same as his. Yeah, he, yeah, you just turn over the card as he shouts it out. The first person to get rid of them wins. Oh, Winner takes all. That's Okay, that's Sticky a bit, 13. Yeah. But th there's a little bit of um, culture attached to it. Like when you've only got two left, you've got to shout out, I'm sticky. <laughs> moist. No, I'm moist. I'm moist. That's it. I'm yeah. moist. Yeah. <laughs> and then when you get the last one, you're sticky. All right. And everybody right. goes, oh no, because they've got like five left. <laughs> but uh, it's quite fun. And yeah. uh, a beer is like 150, gin and tonic, two euros. We've got all inclusive here as well, which is good. All inclusive. There you go. Just lie underneath the tap, right? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I like the Gerardo here. I'm not, I'm not a beer person back in the UK, but that's all I used to drink. Gerardo's pretty good. When I lived here, you know, I sort of knew a lot of the locals. That's mm -hmm. all they did. Where did you live in? In the village or? I lived it. Well, we lived in the Lecky. Okay. We're going to go and look. I know our apartment's still there that we lived in. In the I village know, or in the coast? In the, no, in the village. Oh, very nice. And I know a lot has changed, but even so, it's still the Tenerife, you know, what right. I know really. So. Get the 473 up to um, Adeki Central. We're getting, a, we're getting like a minibus for three days, so that's all. Oh, cool, so you can have a, have a walk around so, yeah, it. Yeah, we want to take the girls up the table. Oh, very nice. So, yeah. Don't forget the villages up the road here, Alcala, Playa de San Juan. you're on next. Very yeah. nice. Oh, look. Yeah, but I should have took my hat off, but look, oh, no. you'll have to excuse me, everybody. I look awful in my house. We're, we excuse you for looking gorgeous. We only gorgeous. arrived last night. <laughs> yeah, tidy, tidy. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully, see you again. Yes, what's... Oh, when, when are you doing this? In, in On Friday night, 5.55. Okay. Friday night, 5.55. Have a nice day. Yeah, you Thank too. You take Tra care. And you, bye-bye, love.
and he's here, the Webster. How are you, sir? Uh, quick 10 minutes. Yeah, because I've got to get back anyway. Yeah, and I've got things to do. What, what time is it? People's, oh, I don't know. People have been ringing me up, got to do this, can you help? Four past 10. Yeah, by 10 past 10. Can you do this, can you do that? I've been taking somebody's car up to the garage, check the tires, got ITV in their car, you know, all these things. It's a Red Cross day for me, yeah. <laughs> for me today. Half of everybody else. Shelley Higgins popped in to say hello. You still here, Shelley? Oh, yeah, Shelley. And um, I met a guy who lives here now, up I'm... in up in El Medino with his girlfriend. Well, I just drove past in my like, beat and there was some young lad looking, talking to you. That's right, yeah, well, he's a Middlesbrough fan. Oh, he's a Borough fan, is he? Yeah, so I've told him about your channel and, and Friday and we can excellent. say hello. Excellent, excellent, that'll do. Um, hey, this thing last night, that was funny, wasn't it? What, the, with the darts? You said to me, not, we're going to knock it on the head. We you are knocking brought, it on the head. You right? just brought it up, didn't I you? did bring it up, because <laughs> you just brought it up. <laughs> Do the Jeffrey boycotts and a big cricket. I uh, know, I know. So, know. Um, OK, so we, I did look very quickly, but I've been busy. So where have you been? Uh, actually, I walked, when I left you, I went up the top. OK. Um, the tarmac machine's there. And yeah. so it's going to be finished in five days, the guy says. Was that the car park? No, I'll try a bit on um, the, the road through the banana plantation. Oh, oh gotcha, big Oh, gotcha, yeah. OK. So the, the tarmac machine's there, so Five it's... days, that means five months. No, 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 they, they can't, because tarmac has to be laid in Lace. a certain... A certain area, yeah, yeah. Oh, gotcha, So good. Uh, five days, it'll be done, so it'll be open in five days. So I'm hoping now, we go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so actually it'll be Monday, Tuesday, because they don't work the weekends. So is it going to be... Two-way traffic? Two-way traffic oh. and two sidewalks, two oh, pavements. Fact, yeah, they've, they've obviously increased the width. Right. They must, the, I don't know what I'm that, asking. That was the biggest thing they did, is they widened the road yeah, and the dug the trench to do the water pipes. OK. So it was, a, it was part of the water refurbishment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they said, well, while we're doing that, we might okay. as well do the road. Right. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah, you've yeah. got to oh, do that. Nice. Let's, see, you're, you're let's getting, see what guys are saying. The Rosa Centre will probably get a little bit more busier because people have just stopped going over I was there, saying they? I could walk to the Rosa Centre then yeah. with Chris. Yeah, for sure. So oh, she'd love that. If you would, yeah. It'll be a thing. Because that's your corner, really. It's not too far as so that'll give him another chance to go out with Christine, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um Alan's homie vlog says it's been neglected for years. It's a private road, so nobody was gonna invest money in it. Uh yeah. until something came along where they needed to do stuff. So because of the water system, I think they've taken that opportunity to just make it better. Mm. Uh Shelley is still here. Morning, Shell. Morning. It's busy morning for passing visitors to him. I quite like that, actually. I'm actually thinking of now on Wednesday night, instead of doing balcony banter, I'll go and do one of my live interview sessions. Do you want to come? What do you mean, what do you mean by that? Uh, I uh, set the big camera and I go to Las Americas or Los uh, Cristianos. And... No, listen, you know me. Live is where I'm going to go. No doubt about that. What? I don't like doing things because I mess it up. And you, you have to come in and you say, Webby, don't say it, don't say that. But I like it live. When it's live, it's live, and it, it is. And, but, and then it's you, but then you can you can ruin it immediately. Yeah, but no, you don't. Then you you do sort of step back a little bit. But when people are walking past, oi, you, you know, where are you from? What are you doing? Who's your football team? It, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Then you uh, get involved. Uh -huh. Then it's, it's it's that fun. No, I'll, I'll come up with you. Of course I will. On Wednesday. We'll well, go, we'll can't go. be this Wednesday. No. We well, can't be because I'm going. Oh, to, you're going to the football I'm match. I'm going to Tenerife. Tenerife playing. Um, C.D. Mourinho. So C.D. Mourinho's the, the sister go, team. There's a few of us from here going, uh, going to taxi over, going to meet in Marshall's Bar underneath uh, Christopher Columbus, who conquered America. Um, underneath the Columbus Hotel, the Marshall's Bar, what time? Well, they're going to be here from six onwards. We probably won't get there till seven. OK, so and what time to kick off? We're going to be eight o'clock. And there's going to be a crowd of two or three thousand. So all the locals go, no, that'll be... Well, I might come. I thought you couldn't for some reason. No, yeah, because I'll... balcony banter. But now Christina says she's not doing it. Oh, I'd love you to come. Well, yeah, no, definitely, because then, because I want, I was going to do a few videos, wouldn't I? Yeah. For my show. Oh, let's do that then. Will you do that then? Yeah. Have you got some room in the taxi for me? Shall I? I'll drive. Can I park, do you think? Um, I'm sure. I don't know. Speaking, but I haven't booked a taxi, but I don't know how many, how many of us is going. Mm. With my, listen. I'll drive. Def definitely come. I will. And bring your thing, because I, I want it on my show. I want, I want I'll drive because I'm not going to the match. Because Wags, you'll probably be there. And whatever. I, won't, I won't be going to the match. No. no. Just meet us in Marshall's Bar. Yeah. Good shout. OK, Marshall's Bar on Wednesday, then. Is that sure? Yeah. Top boy. No, that'll be good. Yeah. Then I'll still take my camera and I'll... So you do a little bit in front, yeah. and I'll do a so, bit... So we're not, we're not even doing a webby on Wednesday, are we? No. No, and the reason we're not doing a webby is because of, listen, I told you, I've told, we've had a discussion about this, haven't we, off air, you know, and we, I've got to work around you two, because it's you two who are more important than me. 
Now that's a fact. Chrissy's more important than you, and you're important, more important than me, if you know what I mean. You heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, no, listen, you know, listen. I'm... No, I did say that it was a bit of a, a pain to, yes. to, do, to do Wednesday afternoon for Webby, and then Wednesday night for Chris. The problem always is, is when you've got Terry and you've got, and you're trying to, I'm trying to jigger it all about and say, we'll be our kind of big as a scarlet and he can't, and he can't get there. Yeah. So doing our individual ones, which a lot of people are messaging me personally, say, Webby, this is fantastic. Doing the shorter ones. Oh. I mean, I don't know if, you, if you haven't been watching Webby Sports Roundup because yeah. you're not a sports fan, go ahead and watch it as it's a favour to me and look at the production value, look at the interesting characters it's that he's business. got on. It's the business. And yeah, it's, uh, it Even is. Even you put things on there, I'm not too sure. I'm going, I can't believe you've done that. I don't think, how'd you do that? You know what I mean? I do, the, I do all the, the things behind the, you know. It's brilliant. It is, it is really, really It's very good. time consuming, but I, I, I still like it. But you love doing it. I do, yeah. That's Let's it. see what other people are saying. Yvonne passion. Brown's it's on. It's your passion. Uh, it's relating to the comment above that one, Tim. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm going backwards, you see. Okay. Webby, I've got a few Wolves programmes, early 60s, you can have for fact. So give them to your big mate, Jason. We are over in August, so Big we'll... mate, Jason? Yeah. You mean Jason Three or Shoes? Maybe. He would not. Neil would be better given to him because Jason, um, he just put he just put him in the uh, in his back room. I gave him an England um, um, flag, okay. massive, as big as that, and he just put it in the back room. Love your interview vlogs, Tim. Says Gary Homer might be going to Man City versus Sevilla in the Super Cup. Says Court. That'd be good. It's been neglected for I, years. I wonder what that is then. What's the Webby's figures must be near. Well, I'm, it's nine, near a thousand. It's nine forty-eight, I think, as it was this morning. Fifty-two to go. Okay. But I think you know, give us another week, and hopefully we'll surpass that. So, Alan, I'm seeing as it's been neglected for years, and then the one above that is what's Webby's figures must be near, and Shelley Higgins still here. Busy morning, Barry Oliver. David Impey, morning, Webby. Morning. Webby, my morning. son is the manager. Morning, it's my son. not our son, lol, Madge. Webby. Hey. My son is the manager. Of what? Of it's not, it's, it's not our son, lol Madge. Well Madge is And Madge raised, raised his wife, wife, yeah. Webby question mark, my son is the manager, question mark. It's it not our son. Oh. I can't get that, I'm No, afraid. no, no. I'm, I'm reading backwards, so it probably they, makes more they sense. Might, they might have put something on one of no, the... No, he uh, didn't, comments. that's what they want you to think, oh. Okay. Arthur Scargill took the money while all the miners suffered. Yeah. Okay, there you go. No, he didn't. Okay, okay. We were talking about Arthur Scargill. Okay, yeah, not my cup of tea. I don't, I'm just politics. I'm not into politics. No, but I, I mean, I, I was saying that, that people like like that. I mean, if you're, if you're a top politician or a top union boss for Christina, um, then you're the same in my mind, right? Okay. I mean, unless you have a heart, right? Yep. Yeah. Then I'm just saying. Half, I forgot to tell you on time. Friday I bought you a Prezi, and I took it into Monte Cristo when I walked in, mm. and I left it there because you got me in. You got me on your. Webby, get here, get here, do as you talk. So freaking Friday I was there for an hour. We had a few and I forgot all about it. Mm. Monday yesterday I went. Oh yes, have a look. So I went, Tim's Prezi. So, so I went, Dave, and he, I went, you know what? I went. I know, look, I went. Still there. I'll take it home. Dawn says, put it in the car. I said, no, I'll take it home. So um, it's home. I'll, I'll, I'll get it you this week. It's a present I got you. I'm not, gonna say, I'm not going to say nothing. That's probably another pair of shorts that don't fit me. No, no, no. I should have put them two together, shouldn't I? He put, he put, he gave me two pairs of shorts and I put one on and it was so tight yeah. that uh, I nearly passed out. You can appreciate that I'm a little bit skinnier. I, uh, well, only, a, only a little bit. Yeah, and, <laughs> but he's given them me because they're too big for him. <laughs> yeah, but I only worn them a couple of times, but no, listen, when you get You've down to them. a certain. Like, oh, come only a couple of times. I put them in the top with all my stuff, didn't I? David Impey's going. Yeah, I gotta go as well. I mean, yeah, we, we all have days. 74 minutes. What time is it? Oh, you mean you've got a phone there, so I don't know what time is it? I don't know. Webby will tell me. 10.22. 10.22. I've got enough time for another coffee and then that's it. Yeah, I've got, I've got but I'm gonna finish up now because my battery's running low again. So are we on for Wednesday? We are 99%. And you can come down. And I'll be in the car. Yeah. Because I want to leave early. Yeah, we'll go off and we'll meet you down there and we'll yeah. have a. I'll see you at Marshall's. And then we'll have that, and I'll put that. Um, this Thursday, I'm contemplating, contemplating. Um, We're going for a walk with Tenerife Tez Wednesday, uh, Thursday morning. You want to come? Oh, yeah, well done. Yeah, I could do. Oh, yeah, it was, uh, what time? Because I'm taking Paul into the airport, 8.30. Uh, I'm meeting him at 9 o'clock. Where are you meeting him? I don't know yet. It's up to Tez. He's got to tell me where to meet him. Right, It'll well, be somewhere in Las Americas. Las well, Christiana. listen, just remind me. I might. 
because I've got to I'll see you Wednesday night. 8.30. I'll see you Wednesday night. And I'll, I might drop in. And I like to make tests. Yeah. I've seen him. Yeah, have you? I see him. I want to, I want to, I want to, yeah, you know what I mean. I do. I want to cheer him up. <laughs> Tess, if you're watching, you know, don't you? He's not watching. No, he's, no. he's too early still in bed, isn't he? After a late night in Veronica's with his missus. Yeah, exactly. So, um, but Wednesday, <laughs> on Thursday, I was, yeah. Now, Wednesday, I got the doctor again. I've got to go and see about this. It's that's, getting that's, better. That's a lot better. Yeah. Good, it's clearing up. Yeah. But I've got to do um, Wags thing this week, and Paddy the Baddy, and Fran. Oh, God, it's just too much. If we only put out now a Friday morning thing, right? What's that? Your roundup, the roundup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's the only one we do this week, that's fine. No, no. People, that's fine. Pe no, people have messaged it. Webby, when Foggy, what's it? Webby, you're doing one every day now, even in Monte Cristo last night. Webby, it's good. You're doing every day. And I said, no, I'm not every day. Mm -hmm. I'm doing as many as I can. Only to get up to this thousand mm -hmm. and the four thousand watch hours. That's that's the object. When we get that, then we can relax, get Google on, and get see how in, good we're uh, doing. The quality up, get the yeah. quality up, yeah, okay. and that's the object. To get them in, get them in, get them in. Okay. All right. And I get my new camera. This, in fact, in two weeks' time, hopefully. Do you and know what? So, I've still not got that cap. No, you haven't got the cap. No, I've Alan, got the caps. Uh, if you if you have a tracking, you must have a uh, tracking number. Device. Uh, yeah. Please let us know because we can uh, do it from this side. But I would go to the, I would take your receipt to the post office just all of it and now. just put in a, a trace request. So you put in a trace request at your end, give us the tracking number yeah. and or the trace number, and we'll put it in at our end as well. I've got to get this charity thing all up and going as well. I've got lots of things. I've got, I've got lots of things in my mind to do in sponsors and stuff. In oh. uh, don't know. worry about it. I don't, don't worry about it. it, I just like getting it done, don't I? That's true, but... I yeah. like crossing the T's, <clears throat> dotting the I's, don't I? Exactly. And make sure we make some money in... <coughs> for Zachary Accrington yeah. Stanley, as I say. Yeah, I know. My pal used to play for Accrington Stanley. Really? Yeah, 100%. Accrington? He used to play for Blackburn Rovers, he was there. Um, he was a Wigan boy, uh, Ian's son. What's his name? That's better, actually, without Webby. I quite like it. <laughs> oh, I said, I'll go over here, then. Ladles and jelly spoons. We're going to get Webby to say tra. All right. Say tra. To everybody, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. So I'll put the uh, the Wrexham one out today sometime. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim Down for Living with MS in Tenerife. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for joining me today. A uh, great walk, a great talk. I hope that my political views don't turn you off to me. But I think that it's... No, I mean, I just want people to be fair. Oh, no. Just be fair. And uh, I'm going to put a... Well, actually, I'm going to let Google decide what's best for you. Here you can buy Christina a book if you like, and here you can subscribe for free. And I'll stick Webby in the corner up there, or one of the other people that were on already. <laughs> and this is Tim Down and Webby for Living With MS in uh, Tenerife. Bye everybody. Wouldn't want to be a.